Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the spear gap code meter. It is used for measurement of the high voltage peak value of the high voltages. Now let us discuss about the spear gap code meter. It is used to measure the peak value of HVAC, peak value of HVDC, impulse voltage. Peak value can be measured if the distance between the two spheres is known to us. That is, spear gap is known to us. The spear gaps are used to measure the voltage measurement. A uniform field spark gap will always have a spark or voltage within a known tolerance under the constant atmospheric condition. Hence, a spark gap can be used for measurement of the measurement of the peak value of the voltage. If the gap distance is known, voltage measurement. Peak value of the voltage may be measured from the 2 kV up to the 2500 uh, kV by means of the spear. Now let us discuss about the construction of it. Two identical metallic spears separated by the certain distance from the spear gap. Two types of arrangement of the spear gap it is possible. First one is a horizontal arrangement. Second one is a vertical arrangement. Electro material are made of the aluminum, bronze, bronze, brass, steel, copper, lead alloy. The size of the diameter varies between the 5 to 200 cm. The spacing between the spheres should exceed the sphere diameter and should be less than half of the radius. This is this is some uh, first arrangement. Uh, this there are two arrangements of the sphere here. First one is a horizontal arrangement. Now let us see the horizontal sphere gap arrangement. Both spheres are connected to the voltage source. This is the uh, this is the height of the spark point from the ground. There is a gap between the two spheres. Both spheres are insulated. Spheres are made of the copper and aluminium material. The series resistance, as we can see, the function of it is function of this series resistance is to limit the breakdown current and suppress the unwanted oscillation. Now let us discuss about the vertical arrangement of the spear gap both spear are connected vertical vertically gap between the two spear can be adjusted by screw gauge uh, spear should be carefully designed and fabricated the spear surface should be smooth and clean another important point is that there is a uniform radius of curvature should be maintained thank you This is our setup of the uh, uh, voltage measurement uh, by using spear. Uh, here we can use the two spheres for first is the spacing between two electrode. Uh, the spacing between two electrode is uh, affects on the measurement uh, when uh, space between two electrode is uh, more or less this effect on the measurement uh, second is uh, electrode material which uh, electrode material we uh, used for the for a spear is uh, affects on the measurement uh, next is the uh, shape and size of the electrodes means uh, shape and size of the uh, spear atmosphere atmospheric condition pressure temperature, humidity, dust, uh, irradiation, nearly earth object. Atmospheric condition, uh, when uh, our atmosphere is uh, uh, with wet condition or moisture, some moisture presence in uh, uh, atmosphere is affects on the measurement. Uh, there is uh, due to moisture, some uh, ionization occurs due to, uh, due to this. Uh, Ionization is occur. Humidity temperature is also affects on the measurement. Dust uh, when uh, dust is present on the sphere, then uh, uh, we can uh, when dust uh, present on the electrode, then there is a, a major effects on the measurement. Next slide. Uh, procedure. With high voltage tester, set up apply some voltage across spare gap. Uh, we can apply some voltage across the two spare gap to measure, uh, measure the 
where when uh, arc will uh, create keep higher spacing initially and then keep on decreasing it by monitorized switch let the spacing decrease slowly note down the distance at which spark has occur refer standard is table for the noted spacing of gap distance find the voltage convert this voltage into rms value v and apply error density correction factor to find actual voltage of v compare this value with voltmeter reading on kit note if automatic gap varying facility is not available then take any gap distance and break down voltage for the gap by explaining procedure and read the value from is table for this gap and then apply correction and rms value this is our simply procedure of, of uh, measurement of voltage by using spare gap observation table uh, we can in observation table the there is a made two part uh, spare gap distance and voltage at which uh, arc spark or spark will create uh, there is a we can use two distances uh, 50 and 1.5 that's all from my side next slide will explain by roshan thank you it also had some advantages it can be used for measuring peak value of ac dc and impulse voltage this method is also very simple and a wide range of 2 to 2500 kilovolt is available it can it can be also used for measurement of voltage in stage test and calibration of other devices this method is uh, very simple cheap and reliable these are uh, disadvantages it does not monitor continuous record of voltage like voltmeter accuracy is not uh, so high compared to electrical operators but acceptable it has lot of errors in voltage measurement due to some statical nature parameters like humidity pressure and temperature etc we should also take some precaution usual separation of two spheres should not exceed the diameter of sphere no measurement should be taken with spacing less than 5% of radius the surface of sphere should be free from dust particles shining surface with scratching should be avoided the spark over interval should be such that heating and overheating of surface is avoided no conducting surface should be in the region we can uh, conclude that as we keep a uh, sphere diameter constant and increase sphere gap breakdown voltage also increase as we keep a sphere gap constant and increase uh, sphere diameter breakdown voltage also increase thank you